Well, the officer was talking to those two women who claimed they were being chased right in this corner. He had the suspect sitting on the curb there, and that is when things got a little crazy. Sit down on that curb right there. Absolutely. This is what the officer's body camera captured. While he's trying to find out what's going on, another drunk driver the hits the original drunk driver. Um, so it, it turned into a huge mess. Tanner Harrison sitting on the curb is nearly hit by a moving vehicle. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey! Stop! 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 In slow motion, you can see Harrison had just enough time to roll over and get out of the way. Headquarters. Police say the driver of the car later identified as William Couch drove around the flashing lights and took off. The lieutenant told the vehicle to stop, which it didn't. It continued and went south on the service road. Officers got in behind it and it, it, it kind of failed to stop for a, a short time and then eventually stopped uh, at, at Northwest 12. Couch was booked for DUI and leaving the scene of an accident. How much you had to drink? I had uh, two beers. Harrison refused treatment and was also booked for DUI. The person that was hit by the car refused to take the test. The other person was very intoxicated. He blew, I believe, at .22, which is about three times the, the legal limit. And police say the incident between Harrison and those two women really started at a Valleybrook business. He claims he was swindled out of $800 by those women. Those women were cleared and were released. We're live and more. Patty Santos, KOCO 5 News.